Yo, it's Scuba Joffrey, this skin I made a long time ago. But uh, yeah, doing something different. This is a mince raft, in case you haven't noticed. But this is on the uh, PC, unlike the one mince raft video I already did on the Xbox. Uh, I could figure out some way to link that, but yeah, it's not the best, but it's okay. But anyway, I'm going to show you today, instead of, you know, getting angry at crocodiles or, you know, bandicoots or anything, I'm actually going to show you around my uh, big old Minecraft world. Yeah, being original like that. But, um, yeah, basically a deal with this, I started it back in grade 7, so that's like 6 years old. Nope, not even. Let me think. 5 years old. But that's pretty long time in terms of this game, because it came out in, what, 2010? So, basically I started this thing off. Oops, okay, I just broke a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay my bad. Yeah. Already getting off to a good start. So yeah, I spawned around here. I just broke the torch that marked my spawn point. But So, um, started it in beta 1.7 or something. They didn't have jungles then, but uh, obviously they do now. But, uh, anyways, so yeah. Oh, before I begin, I'm going to split this into three parts, I think. Um, I'm going to show off the things I built within, like, the first year. I'm not sure. I'll build, like, the things that I built first of all, then the build I built second of all, and then the final things I built. So, uh, anyway, spawn there. And I was really freaked out about not finding a cave with coal in it, because I didn't know about charcoal. Actually, I don't think it was even in the game. But uh, I'm pretty sure I found some in here, one of these caves or something. And then just like I immediately hold up in one because I was kind of terrified. Alright, here's where I found the coal. See? All the way back in grade 7. And uh, just a warning, there might be some uh, lag. I've never seen that before. Uh, oh, there's my big cave. Okay. So, yeah, basically, I'm kind of feeling bummed out today because I'm getting sick again for the third time this year, so usually turning on this world and walking through it makes me happy. So uh, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen, and I uh, might as well show it off because one of these days, I only have one copy of this world, and one of these days I'm going to break my laptop and I'll never see it again, but at least if that happens, I'll be able to give, I'll be able to have a video showing it off. So uh, there's the cave, we'll go in there later. Because basically, once I found, like, my iron, my coal, my basic start, I started this world in survival, in case you haven't noticed, but now it's in creative. So I went over here, and I, uh, built this house. And, uh, usually in this game, like, I've always never been one for a gigantic house or anything. I've always just preferred a little one. So, uh, that's why I had here. Built this house. Don't want to show off the inside. I got some cats from a jungle, but, uh... Not really good for much. As you can see, I played a lot because I have all this garbage in there. I made this kitchen in here, which uh, has a useless note block that opens the door. I just built a note block to screw it. There's all the food. Um, I thought this was pretty clever back in the day, but it's not really. It's my garbage disposal with a cactus. And uh, furnaces. Um, in here was my failed attempt at a crafting room. So I have this, but of course, like, it's too small to have all the enchantments, all the books, if you know what I'm talking about. So that kind of screwed up. Uh, up here's the... Oh, bunch of spawn villager. I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, bedroom. Yeah, of course. And uh, that's where I kept all my good stuff. Yep, see? And this stuff was all gotten legitimately and... All this was legitimately done in survival mode so far. Uh, I'll, you'll probably notice when I made the switch. But uh, down here in the basement, it's uh, kind of a crappy old basement, but it's my potion brewing sand. Funny thing about this this thing, I'll get to that later as well. I had a furnace room, which I thought was clever. And uh, here's my sorry attempt at making a secret passage. Um, it's right next to the storage room, because I ran out of room. This stuff is a uh, fake, I think. Yeah, that's stuff I cheated to get. But whatever. Yeah, just... Classy old storage room. Um, as you can see, here's the... I had to cut away the surrounding blocks of the cactus for my garbage disposal in order to uh, make the secret. But, uh... And here is where I stored... This is my, like, last legitimately crafted thing in the game. 
before I switch to creative these diamond boots. And where else to hide them but in the outhouse. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, damn, I made a lot of farms over here. Oh, yep, here's my uh, classy lily pad harvesting reed thing. Uh, I changed that later, and my cactus farm. Um, over here's the dogs I found. Uh, I had a ripped jaw. I'm pretty sure he died like three times. Just kept renaming one ripped jaw. Pandora, she never left. And uh, old Jimmy. Don't know what his issue was. But I made all these signs too. So th there's the mine shaft. I'll show that first because that's like the second thing that came. So I built the staircase down. Uh, uh, th just dead end. What I did here, I built a railway cart going down to the mine. Uh, my little base of operations with the door, which is probably not a good idea. And here's my automatic uh, reed harvester. Basically, um, these pistons push these out, and uh, I'd grab them. And uh, I'd also put some here, and there's pistons underneath the sand, which would raise them, and then fall. So uh, basically, the way it works, you pull this thing here. Whoa, what the? What happened? Yeah, see, these stick out, and there's all the, all the reeds. I don't actually want them right now. So I'll just put them in the sand. Never know when I might go senile and I might need to... Oh, right, it's creative. Might need to replay this world. Um, yeah, so down the railway... Uh, cart's not here, which is really useful. I had a lot of crap going, making this uh, railway. Like, as you can see here, this was a failed path. Just aborted it. Didn't even bother cutting any of it down. And uh, this was my mine shaft. I think like the world started in version 2.8 or something. Or no, that's not even a thing yet. Uh, started in 1.7 in the beta, and then like the day after I started the world, uh, version 1.8 came out, and I got all these mine shafts for me to explore. So obviously I did quite a bit. Um, in here is my nasty base of operations. I don't know what this was. I think I had lava in there. Because I didn't know you couldn't make an infinite lava source. So I tried making one. Didn't work. Is it the bed? I thought... I remember putting this here. It doesn't do anything. I thought it looked like a coat hanger. So... Yeah, I took everything with a bit of grain of salt. There's all the crap I had. I had the clock in there. I had one... This entrance here. Because I couldn't be bothered with the iron door. So I just made another one. And I use this all the time. Um, and through here... I tried to make a uh, nether portal. I still have the base, but I took it all down. And because of that, um, my nether portal appeared in a like 3x3 three three cave underneath a huge lake of lava. So uh, keep that in mind, because something else interesting happened in regards to that. But yeah, so that didn't work, and what I had to do is I had to cheat. I installed a mod, because I didn't have cheats enabled. And I... Uh, what I did was just spawn some blaze routes because I couldn't be bothered to go get them myself. Anyways, actually, one second. Anyways, continuing on. Um, here, the mob salon. Oh, the mob salon. I thought this was cool. Uh, I tried to make it all dark so monsters would spawn in here. I thought this grass here. I got this down here, like legitimately I have no idea how but somehow I got grass all the way down here nah, I th thought these looked like pool tables or gambling tables or something and I have no friggin clue what this is what the hell is that maybe it was something bigger but this burned it up could have it, it was a bar I thought where a bunch of monsters could spawn I thought it would be cool but they never did because they're dicks and uh, that's about it for the mine. I think this was a dungeon or something. No, no, maybe not. Anyways, just a typical mine with a aborted nether portal. Sometimes it got hard to get out of here, though. So, yeah, just follow this. You could ride this, see if it still works. Well, what do you know? It seems to be. Nope. No, it doesn't work. God damn it. Oh well. Anyways, once I was done that, 
I had this idea to create a uh, little bit of a town surrounding my uh, house. So this was all done in survival mode too. I all got this stuff legitimately. Actually, I just want to show this before I forget. It's another testing automatic sugarcane farmer. It didn't work the best. I had to put two levers because the redstone freaked up. I've never been good with redstone in this game. So, uh, I only really have failed experiments. Like this. Uh, this is, I called it a John Deere. I spelled John wrong. Huh. Anyways, yeah, just grass appears, you pull it. Just trying to be creative. But, uh, this is creative, but nothing compared to what you'll see. And trust me, you will. Uh, in a lot of videos. Or a lot of time, because I'm going over all this painstakingly. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, should I... No, let's get rid of that. I don't need to be bothered to... Cue key's sticking. That was a scarecrow, this pumpkin here. I used my chickens, and my, uh, pigs, and my sheep that always escaped. I think I actually have a few running around with, uh few escaped multicolored sheep running around. Here's Doorface and uh, Macadamia, the cat. I was very nice in naming these animals. Actually, I think I had to spawn in all the name tags for these dicks. Screw them, though. Yeah, that's a farm, by the way. Oh, this was a reference to a YouTuber I watched who did Minecraft. I'm not sure... Not sure who he was, but he didn't like chickens. He thought they were all spies. It's really kind of weird. Minecraft players are usually really weird. Anyways, uh, I made a bunch of signs, so yeah, there's the farm. I'm gonna show in here now. So the shopping center. So what I made is I made a uh, Martin Jr. City Bank. I gave all these names. And basically, uh, when I spawned in those blaze rods that I told you about, I also spawned in all these villagers so I could put them in, so I could populate my world. Um, I remember hiding something that I always wanted to show people in here. Scuba Jarvis money and rare items. Oh, yeah, there's my money and rare items. Uh, and then just two empty large chests. I, I guess that was just like an advanced storage room for me. I always tried to find interesting ways to do that, and the dog's starting to bark, which is great. Friggin' house is completely silent all day, and as soon as I start recording something, that's when the dog starts barking. Here's the bakery. I thought this was like the best thing in the city, or the little town here. This friggin' cake uh, glass. I thought it looked so good. Yeah, it looks okay. Anyways, I had. I think these N stand for nuggets. I was planning to have a currency system or whatever with just myself. This was all uh, single player, mind you, but I once anticipated getting it to uh, multiplayer. Kids get free cookies. That's a reference as a kid uh, at the grocery store. I always got free cookies. And I baked a bunch of crap. Anywho. Um, I'm not sure in which particular order I built all these things. I think the bakery and bank might have been first, but I'm not sure. It's all a while ago. Here's Mrs. Feeney's pet store. I actually had tamed a bunch of animals and just stored them in here. I didn't know that, like, once you tame an animal, they're infinitely bound to you, so nobody could buy them, technically. Um, I just had, like, dog care, fish. Got all this legitimately. All the rotten flesh and bones. And uh, this wool was supposed to be beds. I do remember that. It was supposed to be beds. Um, here's Dr. Strickett's tools. A lot of these I just dumped a bunch of my old crap in. See there? Or just like whenever something would break, I'd just come in here and raid this poor guy's shop. Screw him though. He doesn't care. Um, this is just the garbage shop. Bills use items. So like I have a bunch of crap. My house is full. So I just dumped it all in there. Never actually used it much. I think I'd... Nope. Uh, here's the library. And I remember this one's special because it's pretty frigged up. But, God damn it. I don't like how you can't just throw those things away. So, uh, server members, that's a... Okay, see, I wanted to start a server eventually with this map, but I could never do so because it's so painful to try and do that in Minecraft. I thought I might open it to LAN, but uh, then I realized I couldn't because nobody else has a freaking computer in this house. So I just stored a bunch of book and book and quills. Here's this librarian dick. And uh, I actually wrote a bunch of these. Let's look through them. They're probably humiliating. 
The fish is inside the heart. Oh. Okay. Obviously, I had a lot of free time on my hands. This thing, like, I created a bit of lore. I can pause it if you read it, but I think... I buried something out of the... Out in the plains biome. And that's supposed to let people go find it. I have no idea what any of that means. Um, right here. This is interesting. This is such a huge server. But the first wooden pickaxe I ever constructed, I actually managed to put in here. And you know what? I'm going to show it right there. First wooden pickaxe. Let's just uh, put this stupid stone back. I always thought... I was always very proud of the fact that I kept that. And it is interesting. It's like, you know, first thing I ever made. Here's that Dakota's clothes and armor. Just a bunch of crap I dumped in here again. Oh, maybe I... Oh, yeah, I spawned this crap in, but I stored it in there. I built the leather myself, I think. Stupid dog. Okay, here... Ah, oh, she'll shut up eventually. Here's the wool and dye. That's where I stored all the wool and dye. I could have just made another bigger storage room, but for some reason I made all these houses. I had a lot of free time back then. Now... If I was playing survival, I would have never built all this stuff. Here's a blacksmith. Uh, I've once had a villager in here, but I eventually replaced him with a golem. Just a bunch of swords. Uh, here was, I think, the last thing I made. The enchantment and crafting room. Because uh, the one in my house failed, I had to make a new one in here. I always found enchanting to be some of the most painful parts of the game. Building the stupid bookshelves and everything. Um, I'll show you the inn later. Right here is Rumble Tower. And uh, I like this because uh, it's got a special switch. Basically it's a button, right? And buttons are supposed to give out, but I hit it and it doesn't. It acts like a lever. I don't know why I bother doing that, but it does. And I hit it over here and it closes. Or maybe it spazzes the hell out. I don't know. So it's just a big stone tower. I thought I would make like a huge castle, but I just decided to do the tower because it was easier. It's cool enough. I like it. I'm proud of it, hypothetically. And uh, you got your big uh, roof. Anyways, last thing is over here before the inn. Oh crap, I flew. Um, oh, here's where I buried all my pets. If they died, I would have... Uh, I think what I actually did... I actually filled it with bones. Yeah. When a dog died. So Lewis. I think I made up two of them. I think Lewis and Indiana. Umbra was real I think. Umbra was a cat who died. Um, and here's the uh, church. Now I'm not a religious man. So I don't know why I built so many churches in this. But uh, this is the first one. I tried giving it a. Stained glass before stained glass was actually a thing so just kind of screwed around just a that freaking dog just a little church I even gave it a cross I eventually cut out the crosses from my churches but that's cool now right here is the uh, bumblebee inn and I was very proud of this not even gonna lie I thought it was the best thing I'm proud of a lot of stuff but I'm not proud of it because it's a big, huge, nice old uh, place. I'm proud of it because the washrooms. So you just, typical wash, that's supposed to be a urinal. You just take a dump in that. It just, it's just stagnant. But uh, here's what I was proud of. It's a mirror. And uh, you can probably guess what I did there. But if you can't, basically I just uh, recreated the bathroom. I just put glass over it. Of course, it doesn't reflect you, but who gives a damn? I think it looks really cool. I'm going to break my religion and uh, go into the ladies' room right now. And, uh, of course, they don't have a urinal, but they can always take a dump in there if they want. Don't know why I didn't put two dumpers. Whatever. Uh, yeah, and you're supposed to be able to... These are uh, the keys for the rooms you'd rent. And you'd go up here, and you'd had all these rooms. Now, the good thing about these rooms, I forget... Okay, there's this room. It's pretty spacious, right? It's got everything you need. But, uh, this room... Oh, wow, they're equal. I seem to remember one of them being a lot 
smaller than the others. I think it was... Ah, screw it. I'm actually going to sleep. And I'm not paying for the room because I built the freaking thing. Uh, what about this one? Nope, they're all about the same size. And I made a bunch of sniper nests up here. Never used them because they're kind of useless. And uh, pretty sure uh, enemies would spawn in the middle here. But whatever. Uh, down here, you got the pool and the hot tub. And I like the pool and the hot tub because sheep always found their way into it and started bathing. But, uh, yeah, tried to make a pool. Kind of useless. Made a hot tub like that. I think it's cool. Of course, I wouldn't want to be sitting in a bunch of water over burning coals. Um, and in the back, here's the last thing in this world, or this town. Uh, the Honey Brew Bar and Grill. Uh, basically, they sell honey cider and creeper cola. Uh, not sure which of, move it. Not sure which of these were supposed to be which, but uh, that's what I put in there. This guy's a dick. Anyways, that is uh, Joffrey Town. I think I called it, even though nowadays I would have called it Scuba Town. I think I put the Joffrey Town. Yep. There's the wilderness out there. Can you see? Damn, you can see something better. Okay. Not really. But anyways, after that, I went over the uh, Great Creeper Plains, as I called them. Because uh, obviously I had a couple battles with some creepers in here. Uh, a lot of them, actually. Or the Creeper Hole Plains, I called it. And uh, I went over this way, and I started building tree houses. That thing came a lot later, but I'll talk about that when I'm done talking about the jungle town but uh, basically what I have here uh, I built a little underground railroad because I was tired of going getting dicked over by the creepers so this was done legitimately this railroad I have another one that wasn't done legitimately but screw it uh, there's the there's another one I'll talk about that later uh, actually before I got to work up there what I did is dove down here and God, that dog could use a kick in the face. I'm sorry. Um, I built my secret hideout. What I got is my uh, TV and my couches and my big giant map of nothing. And I got my bathroom. Take a dump in there. Wash your hands in there. Take a shower here. Actually, oh no, it doesn't go through the door. Uh, but what I really wanted to do is the pantry. What I really wanted to do with this is make a secret entrance. It doesn't work with this texture pack. But, uh, yeah, see, I hit a... Oh, my God. Everything's going to chaos as soon as I start recording. I put a painting, hit a door behind it. Then, uh, jump through the door, and you got a spring. I thought originally I'd put something cooler, but I didn't. So, balls to it. Anyways, let's throw, show the trees. Basically what I did is I climbed a vine. And uh, which vine did I climb? This one. And then I made this little pod tree house. What the? What's going on? I could never get into it well. Yep, I added these cocoa beans later. But uh, stored some crap, put a bed, furnace. Then I just kept building tree houses. Here's another pod. Stairs go up to... Uh... I think I built this way first? No. First I built up here, put another pod, made this bridge. All this is in survival so far. Survival mode. And uh, have the Rainy Jays treetop bar. People serving booze when it's raining out. And uh, then once I was done there, I wanted more tree houses. So I built this here, this platform. I built myself a penthouse. My Treehouse of Epicness, as I called it. And, uh, the wooden slabs do not have textures right now. That sucks. Why wouldn't it? Screw it, though. Uh, anyways, that, that was my penthouse here. See, I thought this was a huge distance away from... Hey, there's one of my neon sheep. Anyways, I thought this was a huge distance away from Joffrey Town over there because, uh... I was playing on a really bad PC, 
and I had the lowest render distance, so I thought it was like infinite mist back home, but it wasn't. It was just, you can see it so clearly. Uh, then I made the Boogie Now Treetop Disco, and uh, that's when I, this is the first instance of the checkered floor I put in one of these builds, and I used a lot of checkered floors because I really like how they look and they're really easy. Something's playing. Screw that, though. I got most of these discs legitimately, believe it or not by getting skeletons to kill creepers. I have no idea how that makes any sense. Anyways, I made a uh, farm in the trees, which is actually kind of a cool idea. I'll pat myself on the back over that one. Uh, I have a lot of bars on this. This is a lazy wind, I think. And then I have one more bar. Up here, I think. Yep, there, here's another crapper. I guess I must have had to take a dump while I was making all these things because there's a lot of uh, outhouses. Anyways, the idea with that is you take a dump and it flow down the inside of the tree. Very, I was very environmentally sound back then. Uh, this was a hotel, so yeah, I got my rooms. And then up the ladder, the uh, cloud layer bar. Just a, just a bar. I call it a lover's bar because I like the idea of, I think people would bang on top of it. I don't know. Uh, I'll just address this then because I'm probably not going to come back to Treetop City for a while. Uh, I just built this in creative a while after anything. This I built with a stone I took from a dungeon. Just comment on that. Um, I built this weird tree and then I docked an airship on it. And this airship is identical to another airship somewhere else because you're supposed to be able to press the button and you travel there, but I'll go there manually because uh, it's on the way. You can actually see it from here. If I go like that, there's an airship there. Anyways, I'll fly uh, if I can figure out how it works. They got this wings thing. I think it's really cool, but it's like I couldn't believe these wings were in the game the first time I used it. And uh, here was the last thing I built in survival mode, I think. Oh, except for something way over yonder, but I'll get to that in like two or three videos, actually. But the last thing I built was a little cabin in the woods. And I thought this was really far away from Joffrey Town, but it's just a... You know, maybe a kilometer? Again, like the render distance playing tricks on me. Uh, I built two bridges over this chasm. This was the first one, and I sealed that off once I built the better one. That was part of the path. So... I'll just briefly go over the... Oh crap, you can see something cool over there. I don't want to get to that yet. I'll briefly go over in this. Basically, the big idea with this is that it's in a snowy biome and I wanted a fireplace. So you're supposed to not light this stuff on fire. But uh, when I did that, it set the whole place on fire. So that was great. I managed to put it out, but I never lit it since. Which is a shame, because it's one of my greatest comforts in the middle of winter or middle of snow. on a nice fire. Anyways, that was the last thing I built in survival, and then I switched to creative. Or, like, I didn't originally intend to permanently switch it, but uh, I switched it and I never went back. So what did I build? Well, I built something which, again, I thought was very far away from the Joffrey Town. I called this Alandria Town, this place. And uh, basically, I was playing Skyrim at that point, so I tried to make it quite Nordic which is why they all have these things on it. Doesn't look the absolute greatest, but it looks nice enough. I made... Okay, I'm going to start going over the, over the stuff a bit quicker because I'll be here forever if I don't. Okay, I, I made two bakeries, two farms. So this is the Frostbread Bakery, and here's the uh, the farm and the carrot... the wheat and carrot farms. I call them Frost Wheat and Cool Carrots, right there. Anyways, go into the town. Um, made the blacksmith here, which I think looks actually a pretty accurate blacksmith. Huh, never even noticed that. But I digress. Um, every... I gave them all backyards, too. That's something I wanted to do in Joffrey Town, but there wasn't room. And I tried to give them all outhouses again, because I had an idea. But I'll get to that later. Uh, basically, I then have the guard barracks here. Just a bunch of armor and crap in there. 
this is a big tree I called High Medim, whatever the hell that means. And if you drill into the bottom of it, what the hell? Then uh, you'll have. I built a bunch of nice armor named after fake gods or something. How the hell did I come up with all these names? Screw it. I'm not really the type to come up with weird names anymore. Uh, here's a general store. I actually use that in survival mode a bit to store crap. Uh, just gonna quickly go over another church. I build a church in almost every town. Uh, this one is unique because it has actual stained glass. This is supposed to look like a big tree, but it kind of failed. Uh, what's special about this is I use anvils to make this texture, which I've seen in actual like medieval church style things. I don't know. So, uh, this was the biggest building. Uh, the uh, half-baked potato, which is just an inn, or a tavern, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, this one's special because it has hot springs. <laughs> really nice hot springs, man. Just glowstone with water on it. But uh, I didn't want to make it look like the hot tub. Otherwise, it would be a hot tub, not a hot springs. And then, uh, here's a library. And, uh, I know the archives are special because I wanted to put something in it, but all I eventually did put in it was archives. We currently have no books suitable for archives. The point escapes me. And uh, up here, I had another enchanting room, but I hid a nice book here, which uh, explains about all that weird armor underneath the tree. I don't know who friggin' buries armor underneath a tree this big. Uh, anyways, the secret of the outhouses, if I can say that, <laughs> is that you jump in and they're all connected. I have no idea why I so desperately wanted to make all the outhouses connected underneath. So eventually, well most of them are connected, or are all of them. I'm not sure. But I put like grates there, and I dump the water out, yeah, just kind of really weird. I don't know. But that was like when I built the city or the town. That's like the one thing I wanted to do. Connect all the outhouses. Anyways, you step down out of the uh, snowy, you know, Nordic design town. And then you have the, like, what would they call it? These Caribbean looking docks. And then you, you have all these uh, flags. On uh, these taverns, I think. Oh no, I call it the Salty Wind and the uh, Mia Terra Tourist. Inf I guess I should address this now. Basically, I made these this huge world, and I've divided it into a bunch of different like countries or kingdoms. And basically, uh, the one I'm in right now, I called Mia Terra, which uh, literally means my world in Latin. I was very creative with it, um, and I built another country much later after Mia Terra and I completely forget what I called it but uh I created a tour guide for this place that uh, focuses on all of the uh, towns so in Mia Terra that consists of Scuba Village took you through that uh, Treetop City Alandria that's what I was just through um, Fibre del Huso I'll show that little next video then um, Meta Cresta, that's a while off. Haraldburn's Reef, I really don't like. I should rename that, but I'm not going to out of respect for my fandom in the past. And then Regius, and uh, you'll see what Regius is. And I was extremely proud of that, and I still am. But uh, there's something that I'm even more proud of now in this game. Anyways, I'm going to take you through one last thing that I built before kind of putting this game down for a while. And that is, I will go with, oh, I forgot to address, yeah, that, uh, here's the airship uh, that connects to Treetop City. Uh, not this one, although this one I was impressed with because I thought it looked really cool. But uh, this airship is identical to the one in Treetop City. And uh, unfortunately, you can almost see it from here. 
but the idea is like you press the button and this airship's supposed to take you there. I don't think I'm gonna press that button right now because it kind of lags the game. I will take this over to the last part. So I'm gonna stop here just to show I made a railroad to a place I called Creative City. That's after Landria Town, like that's the last place I made. I'm actually gonna take the, the rail. So this one's what's going on? What the god damn. Here, so this track was made in creative mode because it's a lot longer than the treetop one. It's all lit with glowstone, which I could not have had the patience to get in survival. Not going very fast. Probably could have flew faster, but whatever. It's part of the experience, man. And here is the subway station. So I have, like, extra storage. This guy sells, like, uh, minecarts with chests. This guy shows travel pills, which are just wool. And, uh, there's another thing playing in that. Uh, oh, God damn it. Hold on. I'm just gonna apologize right now if uh, the audio isn't recording, because that was a big fiasco of me setting this up, but I think it should be. Alright, so this is potion box, like Starbucks, and they sell potions. Cool? Yeah. Just public washroom. I tried m making a redstone lock with this, although I had to double it, so you have to close the door with that. And then, this is, I said, it locks it, because it puts the red there, shows that it's occupied. It's like a plain laboratory. Anyways, yeah, again, take a dump, wash your hand. Um, anyways, coming out, and there's what I have. Just a bunch of random crap I made in creative mode. Uh, the first thing I made, and I thought this was the best thing I've ever created in my life, was this here. I think I called this, like, the Mage's Hall. And basically, it's like my first attempt at creating something really elaborately ornamented. Based on, like, a lot of really professional builders in the community. So, uh, I thought it was really, it's not that spectacular anymore, although I do, I do think it's alright. You have all these statues of mages or whatever. He's got his, uh, magic wand. This is really cool, though. Actually, still. Like, the, uh, patterns in front of this lava. I'm impressed with it. It is pretty nice in here, actually. Outside, it's not that impressive. But anyways, I made just a bunch of little halls. That's where you eat. Over here is where you, uh... It's the big cook. Cook-off, whatever. Library. And, like, even though this place is good... Right? Here's your throne. Like, I like this hall. Unfortunately, I had to destroy, like, something I worked forever on. Which is a house that I made in survival mode. I was like a huge house built into the mountain. But I destroyed it because it intersected with this and I thought it was the best thing. This, so I got it out of the way. The royal toilet's good. Wow. I never noticed before. There is a lot of toilets in here. <laughs> a lot of toilets in this world. Don't let that uh, alter your opinion of me. Because I do like toys. Um, maybe I should address the gaping hole. I just blasted you know, got bored one day and blasted my way down to the center of the earth. Here is a battle arena. or something. I hope this line that I'm getting in the middle of my screen isn't too bad. Anyways, what you do, you pull this, you would spawn things, I think. That would lock you in. I think your buddy's supposed to do this for you. But yeah, you just fight, fight mobs or whatever. That's what they call them, right? Mobs? Monsters? Uh, yeah, here is what I destroyed with the mages all. Had a nice bunch of nice balconies. I think I had a fountain or something. It's all leaking everywhere. Boarded up the doors. Only the top floor really survived. So that was the chandelier. Uh, yeah, that this is a uh, like a lava ornament for the hall. Have this nice uh, carpet I made. Friggin' nice closet, nice bathroom, I just tore it all up, because I was so proud of my first big 
you know, ornamental build. Anyways, after that, I decided to make a house in like a modern style. Turned out okay. You know, got a bunch of nice stuff in it. Uh, down here, though, this is like... Okay, so I built like a Landria Town and uh, Creative City. Or did I build Creative City first? It was either one, but like once I built this house, I remember going back to survival mode and trying to do it. And just like the kicking moment was, oh man, I'm out of stuff. And then I just came and grabbed some of this diamond and uh, never went back. Went back, went into Creative mode, and I never put it in survival again. Well, more or less. Anyways. Uh, this furnace, or sauna, I think is like the best looking sauna. Like, isn't it? That looks cozy. Anyways, uh, bathroom. This is supposed to be drywall, but it's kind of nasty. And enchanting room. I have an obsession with chanting, didn't I? Ah, shoot. I'll try to keep it in the day so you can actually see this crap. Anyways, moving on. Then I built these airships I think which uh, I built based on a Minecraft game I think they call it Spleef yeah and that's when you're supposed to like drill under your buddies and they go plowing down to the earth but uh, this one's special because I built it in like a giant battle between airships so this is like supposed to be a net between the two you'd uh, spleef each other in that uh, oh that's a nice ornament I like that um, over here is like a multi-layered one, so you'd break through this, and there's more layers below. This one with the propellers. Those propellers I used again later. The design of the propellers. Anyways, I'm trying to go fast. I just took a while through Scuba Town, because uh, it's kind of special to me. It marks the beginning. Uh, here's a castle I built based off one in Germany. Uh, I noticed it kind of looked like a beluga whale. Anyways, uh, it's just, actually, this castle, I'll just quickly show you through the dining room, and up here I have like a master bedroom, with some cool ornamentation back here, in front of the bed, it's a nice bed, man, well, it's kind of an empty room, whatever, kings don't need much, don't need much room, um, I built this castle while I was watching somebody play through, uh, Amnesia, Dark Descent, so I built this dungeon based on that, and just, I hid some, like, satanic or something, uh, books, I think I hid it in here, yeah, it's like, black, blank, blank, by me, although it's supposed to be written by somebody else, if you find this, I am dead, good for you, pal, the door across from us is open and un unleashed deadly spirits, you have to leave here and get help, do not go in that room. It's actually kind of spooky. I'm impressed by myself. But yeah, the, the thing's opened. And you go and it's like, oh, where's the deadly spirits? Oh, what's this? You pull it. And it's like, opens this. And uh, I was trying to make this look like a nether portal. But didn't really pull it off. Because I would have need to have a big big portal to do it. Um, in a mod I installed, though, you they allowed you to pick up like bits of the nether portal. And you could place it like a block but uh couldn't couldn't use it actually it didn't work so that's a shame I just think it looks like it's a cool door on this and uh, the ornamentation with the bed also works for the back with a cross now here this is like the best like the first really good build I did like, the mage's hall over there is okay, but this one's okay, but pfft, is good compared to okay. Basically, it is a server spawn point, which I built. The idea would be, you'd spawn here, you got a, a uh, what do you call that, mural of uh, me fighting that's supposed to be Harrowbrine, based off, like, the Minecraft lore, and, uh, the idea was before I knew that land wouldn't work everybody would spawn here they'd go down they'd have all these directions like there's the rules in the info and there's your like starter kits I gave them too many because like you have all this crap 
Kickstarter money. I, I, I would just hope that they would not take everything, but they would. Because everybody's a douchebag. So yeah, it didn't, it didn't really work. Over here, I just want to show this before I forget. It's free emeralds. Screw it. <laughs> uh, the rules and info walls are interesting because here are my rules. No swearing. That was a big one. I still don't swear bad swears. But, uh, you know, people swear. What, what are you going to do? No bullying or mistreatment of other players. That was important. No, it wasn't real. I just didn't want to be bullied. Uh, no griefing unless in designated area. So I was actually playing on a server and I kind of copied all these. So do not hackle. You'll be banned for good. How the hell somebody would hack out of my friend circle? I don't know. Do not steal. No telling me off ever. Do not build in any of these places I had built prior to this. To build a home, pick any area and go for it. First, to build a city, first ask a staff member. I have no idea who I'd make staff. But, uh, yeah, do not laugh at my bad spelling because I was a bit worried I made some bad spelling mistakes. And I P.S. most of the things should be in published server, but that's for, through LAN, I think. Have fun. Please don't criticize that fact. Oh, this. Oh, okay, well, whatever. There's suggestions, so, like, if anybody's like, Hey, Scoo, you should make a better friggin' server, and I'd say, screw off. They put it there. Uh, maps of the world. Are these, these are, like, classic maps. Oh, no, no, they're not. Okay, Th that's really useless. All of one map. Great. Um, here's the coordinates of the cities I had, Creative, Treetops, and Scuba. And uh, here is the random next wall. And bagels with coffee is what I wrote. It's kind of weird. I Looking up here, yeah, I didn't want anything to spawn up here. This is a nice, not going to lie, this is a nice uh, chandelier I made. Good job, me. Thank you. I was going to quickly wrap it up here. Uh, this is just a spire I made. And it's a combat arena I made. It doesn't look the best, but it's okay. Uh, up here, just going to quickly show. It's really high. Like, uh, I think it's at the limit of the world. But I made a... This is an airship with wings because I couldn't fit the balloon over it. So it's got wings. And it's docked here at a uh, cloud temple. Try to make this look like a cloud. And the idea is, you hop down. You have like God or whoever sits up here. And you pull all these. And it unleashes water. And it goes pouring down. Yeah, it's okay. It's a cool concept, but it uh, kind of floods the hell out of my city. It's a wall crap. Anyways, that's Creative City. And just one last thing before I end this however however long video of the part one of this tour. I just made, built a little village that has two people living in it. There's a house with one bed in this. Or two beds. So, okay. The idea would be there's two people living there. One people in this puny, puny house. And then they have a giant meeting hall. Yep. Not the brightest people up in these town or hills. Kind of hillbillies. Uh, this is a storage shed for the melons and pumpkins. And this is sponge, but it's supposed to be cheese. Kind of took that with a grain of salt. And you have your wheat there. And you have this nice custom tree I built. But that about does it for this part one part. Um, you can see some stuff that I'll show in the next one over there. Uh, and I'll take you through that later. But uh, yeah, be sure to click somewhere. See the next one once, once it's out. And uh, I'll see you in the uh, next tour thing. Mm -hmm.